Wow. And here we go. This is the main event. It is for the vacant welterweight title. Ryan Sanders, 35 years old. Jonathan Piersma, 26. Sanders has a two inch height advantage and the weight both on the mark 170 and the reach is the same 72 inches for your title fight i cannot wait for this one i you know as a coach i'm trying to figure out what's the strategy here's you're going to take him to the ground ryan's no slouch on the ground you're going to keep it standing ryan want to keep it standing interesting you know ryan's got knockout power he's got a great ground game this dude's a, another physical specimen we're looking at here. He's on his way up. Sanders looking to come back, make a name. He's got all the makings of a great fight. Piersma, the Warhawk, four and one out of synthesis BJJ. He's got a 100% finish rate, four submissions. His only loss is the Charlie Radke, which was a split decision at CFFC 106. He was 6-1-1 one one as an amateur. And he had an interesting take to all of Ryan Sanders' trash talk leading up to the fight. He thought it was funny, and it gives him even more motivation to go in there and smash Ryan in, in his home state in front of all of uh, the support that he's going to have here tonight. So I can't wait for this one. I, I actually have butterflies. Yeah, and, you know, all of that said, right, he's got a bunch of submissions. He's got a bunch of, uh, he's a ground specialist, right? Can he withstand? The onslaught of Ryan Sanders. Can he? Can he? Can he fight through that? Because you know Ryan, Ryan knocks people. What he did to Mark Gardner uh, was crazy. That, that, was, that head kick. That was man, scary. Very scary. scary KO. Well, Ryan Sanders. He's 10 and one in his last 11 fights. He, Greg, he's got 20 NEF fights, the most in NEF history. This is his home. 15 NEF wins. He's got 13 go, finishes. One of them over Marcus Davis really did damage to Marcus's eye. I was at that fight. I, I, I would say, wait, man, I got butterflies. This is Ryan's home. Ryan is home here. Piersmer's coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main events of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the New England fights. Welterweight. Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left. He comes to us representing Synthesis BJJ from Rochester, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonathan Piersma. And his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner to my right. He comes to us representing Vision Quest Muay Thai and hails from nearby Newport, Maine. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ryan Sanders. Five rounds, vacant, NEF welterweight championship. I just love Ryan's look. He's looking at the peers more like, you think so, buddy? But you don't know what's coming, man. Wow. I don't think I need to tell you who's in the red corner, who's in the blue corner, but just in case, Ryan Sanders out of the red corner, peers out of the blue. Ryan lands with a big kick right out of the gate. Another one to Piersma's lead leg. He said, don't kick me. Piersma threw a head kick. He said, no, don't do that. You don't want to do that. Let's go, Ryan! And see, this is what we expected yep. from yep. Piersma. Piersma doesn't want to keep it standing. He wants it's going to be really yep. interesting to see yep. how this transpires here. And one thing about Ryan, Greg, is he's got such a great gas tank. The, the longer the fight goes, it's like the, the better that he, he gets. I, I remember the fight against John Manley. He was getting stronger as the fight went along. Yeah. If it was a five-round fight, I mean, I felt like it was kind of tipping in, in Ryan's favor. Um, so, Piers was in for a long night. I would be very surprised if, if this is a, a quick finish because Ryan's a game opponent. He's, he's a veteran, if there ever was one here for, for New England fights. Yeah. Well, we saw, we saw Stengo tank him down just like this with yeah. a trip, and then he reversed it and won that fight pretty handily. 
right now, Piersma has Ryan down right in his corner. So he's, he's getting instructions barked right from his coaches as exactly what to do. Yes. And I'm probably sure Ryan's probably talking junk uh, on the bottom, which I would expect. Yeah. yeah. But kinda... he's going to eat some elbows, too, you know, because Piersma's going to try and stop him from talking like that. And Piersma's really heavy right now. Like, you can feel, mm -hmm. I can feel his weight from over here. Yeah. So he's going to keep that left, the left hip down and try to keep that knee from coming in. Because if Ryan can get that knee in, walk off the cage or push him, what Ryan likes to do is explode. And you're probably going to see his hips explode and try to make some space so that he can get out. But Pierceman knows that. I mean, he's a ground guy, so he's staying as heavy as he can, waiting for a mistake. And any mistake that you make at this point from either fighter, mistakes are costly in this realm right here. Well, this is exactly what we expected from Jonathan Pierce in this corner. Yep. And it's the smart game plan because, you know, R Ryan the – is very good on, on the feet, and we know what Piersma's bread and butter is. It's his yeah. wrestling, so why not take it to where you're most comfortable? So high IQ, smart game plan, and right now Piersma in control here with two minutes, 25 seconds left in round one. Yeah, Piersma's going to grind, and he don't. I'm sure he don't mind grinding for five rounds even. I'm sure he does not mind. Here's main control on top. Side mount. Not a lot. Ryan staying relaxed. Minimizing the damage. Somebody's got there. He's going to try and pass to a half guard or even go full if he can. I don't know if uh, John English is letting this go. That must mean that he's landing a punch or two here or there. He's not just holding him. Like, he, because if you hold him for that long, John's going to stand you up. But so he drops a couple of elbows here and there. A little bit of a better angle here. Uh, Ryan's turning his hips on him. Yep, Ryan's turning his hips. Get back off the cage so he can push off. Hopefully explode off the cage. Here he goes. Going to throw his legs up. Piersman knows what he's got to do there. He's going to need a belly, and he's going to. Looks like he's going to pass. He looks like he's going to pass. He's in half. He's going to. Probably go to full. He's not in full yet, but he's darn yeah, he's close. Getting there. He's darn close. He's getting there, and he's got, and he's looking at a choke. And he doesn't have, very, yeah, he doesn't have it yet. He's cranking on it, though. He's cranking. Oh, Ryan, he got out. Ryan's tough right there, man. And he wants to drop some elbows and make him pay for this. Pierce was in a good spot. 45 seconds left in the first round of this championship fight. This is your main event here at NEF 50 at the Old Nightclub in Portland, Maine. And this first round has been Jonathan Piersma thus far. How much energy has Ryan expended? How much has John expended? It's important to know that. That striking slows down the favor, it favors Piersma. There's that switch we saw against Stengel too. Well, I think Piersma definitely looks to be the a higher level type of grappler uh, than, than Stengel from what well, we've yeah, seen for so sure. far. For under sure. 10 seconds. Looks like we'll make it to round two. Yes, sir. Round two, here we go. Ryan Sanders, Jonathan Piersma, main event title fight. Can Piersma withstand the striking of Ryan Sanders? beautiful thing about fighting is you know what guys can do and you've got to overcome that here he goes going for that going for that single he's got him up against the cage again he's probably looking like he's going for that leg trip he got it for him last time it looks like he's got him down again back down we go Jonathan Piersma on top into full guard this time though last time it was in half guard, um, side mount now he's in he's in a full guard watch for the elbows from Ryan from the bottom Piersma doing a good job of keeping his head right down the middle. Definitely staying heavy on top of Ryan Sanders. Get space, drop the elbows. Piersma getting his hips up high, right in front of us. 
Brian can pull off something here. You give Pierceman that takedown? Yeah. Yeah. So, so far, so far he's winning. Very technical. These guys are both waiting for a mistake, and nobody's really willing to make that mistake or take that chance to land yourself in a really bad position. Well, again, this is exactly what you wanted if you're in Jonathan Pierceman's yeah. corner. Get this fight to the ground. Not doing a whole lot of damage, though, on, on top. Just more, yeah. more so controlling position. As long as he's throwing punches, they're going to leave it here. As long as those arms are locked down. Right in front of the monitor right here. He's got his hips high. And his head, his head into his chin and his ear. Throwing punches to the body. They're not doing much damage. We got two minutes and 40 seconds left in round two. Another round that has seen Jonathan Piersma on top of Ryan Sanders on the ground. Some quick elbows by Sanders. Again, trying to trying to do that sweep, that butterfly sweep. But Piersma's, Piersma's seen that before, and, and they, I'm sure if they looked at that tape, they know what's up, yeah. right? The last tape with Stengal. That looks like Ryan's bread and butter. Do that hip sweep, Piersma not having it, staying in. He's in half guard right now. Ryan looks like he's going for lockdown. He's got kind of a version of lockdown. Here's my grinding, and then, you know, that's what he was going to do. You knew that's what he was going to do. Smother, grind, make this an uncomfortable, dirty fight. Not dirty in the sense of cheating, but dirty <laughs> in the sense of just like an all-out just, I'm going to lay on top of you and exhaust the crap out of you. Here he's looking to, looking to push that knee to get full. A very different type of fight than most of the other fights we've seen tonight. Yeah. A lot of fast knockouts here at NEF 50. A lot of fast finishes, submissions, but this one taking place on the ground. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know, does he Here's have a crank on him? Does he have, he might have a, he might have a crank on him. But it's his legs are, oh, if he gets his legs, this could be bad. Nope, Ryan's head's out. Ryan's head's out. Good defense by Ryan to get out of that. Yeah. Tough angle from here to see what's going on. Piersman is definitely frustrating him. Yeah. Well, He's got his elbow in his eye. Yeah, that, which is miserable. Yeah. That's a good wrestling tactic right I like, there. I like being right here, man. I don't, Ryan's a tough dude, man. Gotta get a knee back in front, Ryan. Elbow to the ear. He, oh, he's got his leg there to trap his head for that other el for that elbow. Ryan's doing a good job of covering up so those shots don't land. He's making John English watch and make sure it's not the back of the head. Ryan looking for a way out. You could, you could see him thinking, you know, 20, processing. 20 seconds left in the second round. Jonathan Piersma, another impressive round on top of Ryan Sanders for the duration. Yeah. I, I give uh, Piersma a lot of credit for his strength. He's a strong dude. Let's get. It might not look great, but. This is a very technical fight. Two really distinct styles, too. Ryan looking for that high kick. He's got to be ready to sprawl because Piersman's going to shoot at, at any yeah. given moment here. Nice kick to the midsection from Sanders. And what have we seen? You only need you only need a few seconds to get that to get that knockout. Ryan was able to sprawl there and keep it on the feet, but Piersma is just nonstop. Yes. He, well, he got him to the feet, but he pushed him to the cage. Using the cage really well. I, I haven't seen a guy use the cage that well in a long time. I mean, you could defend a takedown, but I'm going to keep coming. you got to back up pretty soon. You're going to run into the cage wall, and that's what he did. That's what he's been doing the whole, the whole fight. Impressive fight thus far for Jonathan Piersma. I mean, what else can you say, especially against such a high-level fighter like Ryan Sanders? Yes. Hey, you know, we saw, um, <laughs> I don't know if you remember the 
not that it seems like it was a year ago, but the Chase O'Brien, Zach Faulkner fight. Yeah. You know, anything can happen in the last 10 seconds. That's true. O'Brien's given, looks like he almost gave up his back, but now he's fully, fully mounted. And Piersma is, Piersma looks to be really, really strong. His balance on top. He's at a great, pretty high level. He's great finding one or two of his legs at a time. Ryan knows what he's got to do. He's right in front of his corner, so Primo's giving him instructions. Piersma literally just laying on his chest in his face. Yeah. Trying to make it tough. Trying to wear him out. I mean, do, do you feel like right now when you're looking at him, I mean, is, is he active enough, landing enough punches? I mean, what would it take for Jonathan, uh, excuse me, for um, the, John the referee English. John English to, to stand this up? I think if every couple of seconds you're throwing those elbows, you're throwing those body punches, yeah. that's work. That's work. And Ryan's not controlling the wrist or the head and holding him down and got him in a neutralizing position. Right. So he's working. You, yeah. know, you can't you can't stand him up when a guy's working. So I think that's what that's what we're seeing here. You know, if Ryan controls the wrist and has his head and he can't get the other arm up, you know, then John English can stop or ask him to stand up. But right now Piersman is just doing what he needs to do. Yeah. He's fighting the, on his terms. These, yeah. these are his terms right now. 100%. Very impressive thus far for Jonathan, the Warhawk, Piersma. You see where his hips are, slightly on top, really heavy hips, and that that, that is frustrating for a fighter. There's, there's two others. Under two minutes now in the third round of this championship fight. Ryan's got no choice but to go to his... He, he tried to go to his, he tried to go to his belly, and then switch back. And yeah, Piersma was all over him. Keep using your feet, Ryan. Get your legs to the inside and hit the stage. High level Good chess match there. here. Yeah, you can hear Jesse, Jesse Erickson behind us, giving a little bit of uh, encouragement to Ryan. Here's is just a wet horse blanket laying on top of you, that, you know, just drowning. And now if he can posture up and drop some elbows, yeah. if he can get those through. I mean, this is, without question, it's been a miserable fight for Ryan Sanders thus sure. far. On, on his back, playing defense the, the whole time with someone as big and strong as Jonathan Pierce on top right. of you. And he's still in the fight. He's still hanging in there. We got one minute left in the third round. Yeah. I mean, if you can't submit him, here he goes, an explosion again. He's, those explosions take energy, too. So the every, cage, ti every, every time he explodes Roll like up. that is, is a less of, he's back. going to expend energy that he can't use in his striking to, to finish this fight and win this fight because he's going to need to either submit or knock out because yeah. we're going into round four, and I got it 3-0 oh, yeah. so yeah. far. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. I mean, the... I don't think that there's any judge on planet Earth that would, would give a round to Ryan thus far, and it just is what it is. But we're, we're in Maine. Uh, we're <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm joking. Well, yeah. We got some great judges. Yeah. But yeah, this is a home. You know, no, of course, this is Ryan's house, man. But Ryan is is so skilled that he could finish it at any moment. Any so any moment that's from the, the thing. ground, stand up from the ground. Either way, Pierceman looks so relaxed too, though. His finish in the last ten seconds. And there we go. <laughs> Ryan landed a couple big shots right there. And yeah, you did a little trash talk, some mind games, try to get in the head of Jonathan Piersma. Piersma too. Oh, Ryan looked him off and then threw a kick. A little eye fake. I love that. And now he's going to run him to the cage. Watch Piersma take him, drag him down right into that deep, deep water. Oh, and he steps over to go from guard to half. And Ryan's back in the spot he doesn't want to be in. A nice toss by uh, Piersma. It was a good little hip toss. More of a drag down than an actual uh, Ogoshi. We're not even a minute into the fourth round and Piersma already back in the position he's been in for the duration of the fight. Yeah. 
Ryan working hard to get it back up. And I'm sure this is exactly how Pierce Madrid drilled, you know, for this fight. I'm sure that he's, this fight's going exactly like he wanted. He's executing the game plan. Yeah. I mean, you got to give it up to Jonathan Pierce, man. I mean, he's looked flawless so far. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to get... If he passes that knee, it's going to be trouble. Ryan knows that. Here's where we're trying to grab that leg, maybe try and pull it out so he can get his right hip in. Here's Milan and some short shots there. Yeah, there's that leg can go in now. The crowd is trying to send some energy his way. And he's got that figure four locked down on the legs. That negates the hips right there. You can't move your hips if you can't move your feet, really. You got nothing to push off. You're kind of stuffed there. He's got, he's got the overhook on one arm. Then they might stand him up. Turn to the side, yes. Two minutes and change here in the fourth round. Another round where Jonathan Piersma has just been dominant. Dominant on the ground, for sure. Like I said, if he can withstand the damage, then he goes to his game. And that's, uh, I think what we're seeing is really, really good performance by Jonathan Piersma. A good execution of a game plan. Might not be pretty, you know, win this way. But I'll tell you what, if you get a win over Ryan Sanders, I don't care how you get it. That's, that's hey, a huge victory. A, a win is a win. Yeah. As you said, especially over someone like Ryan Sanders. I mean, this is a, a monster feather in the cap for Jonathan Piersma if he gets it done. Yep. We've got just about a minute to go in round four. Ryan Sanders still hanging tough. Do not count him out by any stretch. But it's been all Jonathan Piersma so far. Piersman seems to be ready for whatever, whatever he tries to, whatever Sanders is trying to feed him. Piersman seems to be ready for it. He's got head on his chest, controlling his hips, heavy, heavy hips. It's a classic grind from him. I think we're going to go to round five. I think so. Almost 20 seconds to go. And it's gonna come down to Ken Ryan Sanders. Pull up earlier in the night what there we go, Ryan. one of the fighters there, Chase O'Brien it was against Zach Faulkner. Yes. He almost did, but came out just a couple. Very high level. Ryan coming out, looking sharp on the feet. Can, can he stun Piersma? Can Piersma withstand? He's going to run him into the cage. Yeah. And then he's going to try and get that takedown right here. Oh, but Ryan's on top. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the best spot that Ryan's been in in this entire fight. Right. And we'll see if he can capitalize here. What's he going to do? Is he going to try and sub or is he going to try and stand up? Up, Ryan. He's got a triangle. Uh, doesn't have his, doesn't have the head in. He's gonna... And Piers moves back into a stuffed position right here. That's a wrap, folks. This is another tough spot for Ryan right here. Trying to get that right knee in. But Piersman's got a hold of it. Oh, 
Again, Piersma on top here yeah. in the fifth. He's got both of his hands free. So now we'll be able to drop some punches or elbows so that they can keep it there rather than standing it up. Because this is where Piersma wants to be. He's not going to give this position up easy. Got both hands clasped behind. We're just going to that figure four. Another figure four lock on the both legs. Makes it very difficult to get out of there. This makes it hard for, yeah. Ryan staying composed. You know, he can't put on a guillotine if he's got his, if he doesn't have his legs to give him some power. And right now, pierceman has got his legs wrapped up. 2.45 Ryan. left in the fight. Yep, Ryan knows it. He's got those legs out, so that, that's, that's a little bit better. Right now, it looks like Jonathan the Warhawk Piersma is going to move to 5-1 and one and capture the NEF welterweight bout unless Ryan Sanders can pull off a miracle here with just two minutes and change left. Yeah, he hasn't taken any damage, so, you know, he still looks pretty fresh. He still looks strong. Still increasing his position there on Ryan. He's doing everything right. I'm sure he's grabbing for the back of the hips, pull the hips out. Ryan looks like he's getting frustrated. He knows he's probably got two minutes left. He's got to figure his way out of this. There's a guillotine from, half-hearted guillotine from Piers, more of a cradle, a wrestling cradle right there. So he can wrap that leg up. So he's got the, yeah. You can tell Piers, he's got to put some, a lot of time on the wrestling mats. I thought, the, knees now. I thought the one the one moment uh, early in the fight, the only time where I felt like there was a chance that there, there could have been a finish was there in that first round where Ryan was, was in quite a bit of trouble. He was able to, to get out of that submission attempt over on the other side of the cage yeah. from where we are. But we'll get a we're, 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 we're gonna we're standing stand him up. Wait, I think we gotta I think something happened. Oh we got a warning. Let's hit. He grabbed the fence is, is what he's Used saying. Used the cage so for, for position. This benefits Jonathan Piersman because the clock ticked the whole time. So there was a good 20 seconds right there that Ryan. I didn't think there was a warning. The Warhawk going again, getting the takedown. Yep. 40 five. seconds, 40 seconds, settle in. Relax. And Jonathan Piersma. Has Ryan back down to the ground with 30 seconds left in the fight. Yeah, this is going to be, he hasn't been able to get out of this so far, so I think we're looking at a Piersma win. Fifteen sec, ten seconds left. And that's going to be it. We're going to the Judge the scorecards and it's pretty crystal clear. Ten. Piers will move to five. Ladies and, and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for both of these combatants? Giving you five hard rounds tonight in Portland, Maine. We go to the judges scorecards. Judge Scott Mellon scores the fight 50 to 44, whereas Judge Matt Collins and Bill McKinnon score the fight 50 to 45. All for your winner. The unanimous decision, and now the NEF welterweight champion, Jonathan Piersma. We'll try to grab a word with both competitors. Jonathan, you've got lovers, you've got haters, you've got a championship belt around your waist. How do you feel? You came, you saw, you conquered in Maine tonight. Yeah, man, it feels good. Um, you know, my first trip up to Maine. Um, you know, I'm relatively young in my career. You know, he's been around forever. This is his 30th fight. You know, he's a tough guy. I um, made a lot of trash to talk leading up to the fight. You know, he thought I wasn't going to be able to hang with him. Um, I come in here and died in the face of the fight early, easily. Um, I would have liked to, you know, finish him. You know, uh, my first five round fight, you know, I paced it a little too hard. Um, 
But uh, yeah, it was a great experience. Um, he's a tough guy. It's a great win for me. You've got the championship belt. I assume we'll see you back here again. Hey, I'll see you. Uh, talk to my manager. We'll figure some stuff out. But yeah, this was a, I like fine year. It was a great place. Your new NEF World Tour champion, Jonathan Piersmo, ladies and gentlemen.